federal male asthma attack on the steps of the Church of St. Catherine. My asthma and COPD is acting up. I'm having a hard time breathing. Okay. And my medicine isn't working. Okay. It ended up being David, one of our regulars. Whenever you're ready, brother. Who I've been picking up for five years now. Just have a seat. Relax your arm. He does have respiratory issues, and I think he has coded once or twice before, but assess him, realize he's not having any shortness of breath issues. I just want you to be chill, man, that's all. He's gonna be just fine. Yeah, and I know I, I stink. I've been sweating my ass off. I was out playing music all day. I play penny whistle. We just want to get this patient to the hospital, and they'll probably let him sleep there for a little while and feed him and send him on his way. That was beautiful, David. I play him all for my wife. Where is she? I haven't seen her in a while. She died a month ago. What? Really? I'm sorry to hear that. The last time I saw her, she was in bad shape. We've also treated his wife very frequently as well. I still can't believe she's gone. I'm sorry, David. I, I had no idea. I wouldn't have asked about her. I'm really sorry. We were married for two years. I remember when y'all met. Treatment's not working. Being a dad, calls with children, kind of tends to tug at your heart a little bit. You tend to relate more personally. Let's go say hi to the little guy. Four on Hey, big guy. What's up? You OK? You scared? What are you scared of? Yeah, that's from breathing so fast. Take it easy. You'll be all right. Well, let's take this out your mouth. I'm gonna listen to you breathing, okay, big guy? Yeah? You have asthma? How old are you, Bubba? Nine. Nine. Man, you look like you're 10 at least. I thought you were like 24. Take a nice, easy, deep breath. So you're breathing down. There you go. Now, when you take a deep breath, does it hurt pretty bad right in there? Where's the hurt point to it for me? Right there. You've been coughing? Every time I cough, I get a headache. You get a headache? Well, you got to stop that coughing, then you don't want no headache, do you? The thing he's saying is when he takes a nice deep breath, he's having some chest pain. Now, it could be pneumonia. Does he have, does he have a history of pneumonia? Yeah, before he did it. OK, has he had a fever? Yeah. OK. Asthma in itself, if left untreated, can be dangerous. Now we learn he has a history of pneumonia. Everything's a little more serious. Our main goal at this point in time is to keep him calm and let him know that everything's going to be OK. That pain feeling a little better in your chest? No? Let's put you back on this stuff again here. You still scared? I ain't gonna do nothing to hurt you, all right? No needles, no nothing. How about that? Sound like a plan? All right, you ever seen a picture of your heart before? You want to? Right there? That's your heartbeat. Each time it beats, this big line form goes, okay? You want a picture of that? When I'm treating kids, I tend to treat them as my own, so I take all kids very serious and personal. You want to give me a bump? All right. You kind of miss, but I'm going to let you slide because you don't feel good. You making good grades? Promise? All right, I'm going to keep track of you. You don't smoke, right? You don't drink alcohol? No. You don't do drugs? No. You better never start. I'm proud of you, kid. Grandma, you do a good job. Treating kids can be very rewarding. To see him start to smile toward the end is a tremendous feeling. I think this guy is going to be just fine with a little rest and some breathing treatments. My man, what you got there? Your heart? You're holding your heart in your hand? He's holding his heart in his hand? That's just crazy. Hang on to that now. Thirty-two twenty right now. I am solid, agitated. I see you be uptight. Tall. 
You slim. You fairly decent looking young man. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna pretend this conversation never happened. Hey. Because I feel like you just lost a little bit of your street cred with that one. Street cred. Got so much credit, man. She called me Walmart. Walmart? Right. <laughs> I, don't wear I, was, I, was, I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> I was thinking about people go to Walmart, they buy things, uh, and they take it back South without Carolina a receipt, Avenue, and they get credit. That is quite possibly the dumbest I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> number of people outside. Key Lee. She not having no asthma attack. When I got to her, she was having oh, an anxiety oh, attack. OK. So we calmed her down. Her lungs sounds are clear. Mama, what you want to do with her? What? You want to go to the hospital, or you going to take her home? I want to take her to the hospital. She got chest pain. Oh. Why are you cussing me? I heard that ass is all the way over I just got here. We actually have to ask everybody. It's just, an, it's just a regular. That's automatic going to hospital. No, ma'am. For a 15 year old, ma'am. I had people shot that didn't want to go, so we. It's just a question that we I don't ask. Take precautions with her. That's cool. That's cool. You her mama? Mm -hmm. My mama is this bitch. Y'all keep asking me about her mama. That's Not me. Not me. That's the first time I asked you that. That's okay. She's fine. Huh? <laughs> They're not gonna do you nothing. You just gotta calm down. You got me acting ugly with these people for nothing. Nobody's Baby, all, gonna hurt all you. All we're gonna do is give you a bumpy ride to the hospital. That's it. Key Lee. That lady ain't getting in my truck. She ain't coming with me. I would say we deal with emotionally upset family members every shift. My priority was to just get this girl out of that overly stimulating environment and just get her in the truck and, and start the calming process. All right, so. Huh? You can meet her at the hospital. Listen, you're not listen, coming in here. Ma'am, no, ma come talk to me. We're not. Come you can't talk come. To me. You, she'll explain it to you. I'm gonna take care. You're gonna uh, put some stickers on you, right? We're gonna have to have a talk. She's not riding about herself. Take are her you gonna listen to me? We cannot have someone that's as upset as you are riding in the ambulance. Ma'am, if I'm gonna be worried, it is ma our decision. Well, you better let somebody else get in there. One of my nephews. I can let anybody else that's gonna there. be calm, and they're gonna ride up in the front. Hold you. It's for everybody's safety. I uh, got a, uh, the cousin's riding up front. That's fine. He's that, cool. Not her. I, I got it. He's not cool. Her. He's cool. Come on, man. roll out. Right, tell me about your day. Why are you so upset? <laughs> what happened with your mama? OK. That's a good reason to be upset, sugar. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to relax, OK? Slow your breathing down. We'll get y'all checked out at the hospital, OK? <clears throat> I always thought that the other lady was her mom, so that lady's not her mom. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. What yeah, Damn. Do you know what I like, though? Seeing that family stepping oh, up, you know what I mean? That's... Duh, for real. That's real talk right there. Can't let them just go straight. For sure, I hate it. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your mom, OK? But as you grow up, you have to learn how to deal with things, OK? Because this isn't good for you. You got plenty of family out there that was real concerned to get you help. You need to find one of those people you can talk to regularly about your feelings. Don't hold that stuff in until it bottles up like this. In my mind, I'm thinking she doesn't need an ambulance. She doesn't need an emergency room. All she really needed was a quiet area for one of the adults around her to just hold her hand, explain the feelings that she's got to help her through that moment. That was it. We all grieve, baby. All grieve differently. Uh, we're going a female with a knot in her breast. Might be some indigestion. Never know till we get there, my friend. Right. How y'all doing? What's going on, baby? Go ahead. Smile out there. They're too new. When we arrived on scene, there was a ton of people out in the common area of this woman's apartment complex. Like, every neighbor she had was out trying to see what was going on with her and what was happening. Let us check you out first before we do anything else. All right, tell me what's going on. Yeah. All right, my ass was acting. I'm showing sure I got a knot in my titty. Do you feel like it's actually in the tissue of your breast or yeah, in your I, chest? Uh-uh. 
Where is it at? All up in there. Right there? Yeah. You never had a biopsy to nothing? I haven't yet. This woman has chronic respiratory problems. She's got heart failure. She's short of breath. She's got chest pain. While the lump in her breast is something that needs to be evaluated, right now we're more focused on getting her breathing better. What y'all got for blood pressure? 160 over 120. That's a little high, bro. With her blood pressure being that high, it's probably signs of her having excess strain on her heart. So we do need to get her to the hospital pretty quickly so she can be adequately treated and medicated and make sure nothing happens because of that blood pressure. Now, look, I don't want you to cut up on them, all right? Because your blood pressure high, baby. I don't want you to get all out of whack. All right. All right. Jesse, I ain't worrying about y'all mother man. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody holding nothing. <laughs> oh, they cutting up on them. <laughs> See, they going back in now, bitch, so they ain't even worried about it. Now that you going, they ain't got no reason to stay outside. Right. Where you from, man? You out the South Yeah. That's where I'm from. You know Killer B? Killer B. That's me. I blame myself. That was so many years ago. Look, so I want you to suck on them, baby. Hold it, nice deep breaths, all right? You feel big stick over here, B. One, two, three. All right, man, we'll get you to the hospital, right, Mama? What, what he didn't tell you was it's going to be really bumpy. 3220, we ain't routed to row. Ooh, we did went down the fucking road. Yeah. Oh, he went down the road. Oh, killer. What, baby? What's going on, sweetheart? Ain't nothing. Boy, you me up with that driving. Oh, yeah? But you know right there, buddy. I thought it was a gunshot the way you hit that phone. And look, I'm paying by the project, though. So, I mean, yeah, you know that little street right there? Wait, I see, yeah. To give me grief about my driving, I took it all in fun. It wasn't a big thing. She should see me when I drive my, my personal car. <laughs> she thought that was bad. Now, why they call you killer? You ain't never kill a B. Huh? Why they call you killer B? Oh, because I kill all men. Because you kill all men? Yeah. Oh, Lord, that murder. Canal Street, man down. I'm starting to get hoarse, man. Damn. Why are you getting hoarse? I don't know. It's that night air getting you. Maybe you'll have like a, uh, a sexy Morgan Freeman voice if you keep getting raspy. Morgan kind of smooth with it, though. Yeah, he got, he definitely got it. I'm more of a Teddy Pentagrass oh. myself. <laughs> <laughs> then I receive a call from a man down. It's on Canal Street, so you know we're thinking it could just be, you know, Signal 19, which is, you know, a drunk pretty much. What's going on? I have no more time to breathe. And all the time, look at it open. It's like, no more chest. All right. Come on, Chief, you ready? We'll help you up. See what you get out, Crawdaddy. All right, baby. Come on, what do you call himself, Crawdaddy? Come on, Crawdaddy. All right, now, what's going on with you? I've got COPD, emphysema, and asthma. He's telling us he has a history of COPD, which is very serious. But he's speaking full sentence. He's not having any type of distress. So we know at this time, you know, the emphysema is not acting up with him. Why do they call you Crawdaddy? You want to know what? I didn't ask for no reason. All right, look here. My grandpapa was throwing a cast in it. Catching oh. three or four crawl at a time. All right. Let me tell you what Crawdaddy is. I punch holes in a five-gallon bucket and jump in the bayou. You did that? Come up for the whole five-gallon bucket of coffee. He Come said, on. you ought to crawl that. You ought to crawl that. You officially not to crawl that. What you been drinking, man? We make corn whiskey. How you make corn whiskey? Let's get on wine tree. <laughs> You don't have no idea what he just said, do you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. I know you. Yes, sir. I know you're having a great time and all. Hey, Relax. I'm having a wonderful time, but I'm hurting. But my God, this man right here. I want. Listen. <laughs> I'm listening, sir. I need you to stop laughing so I can listen right, to your you lungs. Laughing, I will. All right, let's try to get it together here, Crawl Daddy. You ready? I'm gonna keep this, keep this on straight. All right, serious faces now. You ready? Go. Good job. All right, nice deep breath. Well, he's from down the road in the bayou. You sound pretty good. You know, he's telling funny stories. You're like, it's one of them dudes I could sit down, have a drink with, and just talk to him all day. That was your that was your lady outside? That was your yeah. woman? What's her name? Crawl woman? Yeah. Crawl mama? Crawl dead. Crawdette. Crawdette. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, let me keep the keep this on straight. Get yeah, up my right. We ain't never getting a blood pressure. Nah. My man crawled that.
You saved me strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grant the knob. Grant the knob. They're not dead. I can work with them.